In recent years, drones have started being used in lots of new ways, from filming special events to patrolling borders to preventing car thefts. With so many drones now flying in our skies, how can we prevent detrimental crashes? One Israeli company has a unique solution. Joining us in the studio today is Kobe Marenko, the CEO of Arbe Robotics. Thanks for coming in. Thank you. So to begin, can you tell us a little bit about the current drone market and how it's been changing? So first of all, the drones market today is uh, uh, definitely in its early stages and what we see today is not what we will see five years from now. Uh, as of today, a uh, majority of the market is uh, for amateurs that are uh, using the drones to film themselves uh, when they are uh, driving the jeep or uh, when they are skiing or uh, when doing other extreme sport. Uh, and uh, the professional uh, market for drones is just opening right now. As you mentioned, uh, there is uh, a major part in the entertainment, in uh, shooting uh, weddings, in taking pictures from, uh, for uh, films uh, or for uh, TV shows. This is uh, one major uh, segment. Other major segment is homeland security, is patrolling of borders. Uh, the third uh, major segment is the precision agriculture flying drones uh, on uh, places that you're growing uh, some kind of, uh, of uh, things and uh, you want to see where is, is it the time to yield it uh, already or not. Interesting. Uh, and the, 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 the last uh, but not least is uh, a kind of inspection, inspection of, uh, of uh, construction areas, inspection of uh, uh, high voltage electricity plants and uh, so on. So I can imagine, you know, if there are so many different people who are beginning to use drones for individual purposes, you know, this isn't like uh, an airspace, you know, where people know exactly where other people's drones are. So there are issues with potential crashes, right? What kind of technology have you guys created to deal with that issue? So uh, we started our company around uh, a year and a half, two years ago, uh, when we thought that this uh, problem of uh, crashes uh, will arrive to, uh, to the real world. And we developed a radar, a very small, uh, unique radar that is sitting on top of the drone, uh, covers 360 degrees, and basically can see everything uh, from uh, other drone to electricity cables to trees or uh, even uh, objects that are uh, uh, much more, uh, much smaller. Uh, we see them in about a kilometer uh, from uh, where the drone is. So there is enough time for the drone to maneuver and to change its path uh, accordingly in order to uh, avoid the, the collision with other drones or uh, the obstacles. So how does that work? Does somebody who owns a drone have to purchase this technology? It's uh, basically an add-on to your existing drone. Uh, we are also uh, working with uh, some of the largest uh, drone manufacturers in embedding our product inside uh, their uh, already existing drone. So uh, when the user uh, will buy it, it will have our product inside. Uh, also, our product uh, offers another ability that will go to the market next year is uh, what we call fleet management. When there is uh, a 10 or hundreds of drones uh, that are belong to the same operator, we, we know with our radar to sense all of them and to make sure that we they will work together as a fleet and they will do a job together. For example, if you want to cover uh, the skyline of Tel Aviv and make sure there's no uh, someone uh, a suspect running there, you need to make sure that every single piece of the skies is covered. So all of those 100 drones now, when there is an uh, alert, needs to work together uh, and to cover uh, uh, the area together. So uh, our platform has uh, uh, offered the ability to do it uh, easily, just like that. You just uh, give them a command, please cover the skies of Tel Aviv. Uh, with, uh, uh, I don't know, uh, uh, 500 meters between each one of them. And all of those 100 drones like that will go to the sky up and uh, cover uh, the area. It's really interesting. So this is just a question that I'm interested in understanding. Now, if I want to go out and buy a drone, do I need to get government approval? How does that work? 
Uh, no. Uh, f first of all, uh, Israel is not uh, uh, very advanced in terms of the regulation. In the States, if you bought a drone, first of all, you need uh, to license him uh, or, uh, with the FAA. So there is a website of the FAA, you need to write down the number of the drone and you get a uh, kind of certification that you can uh, fly it. Then you are able to fly it with line of sight, So assume, uh, which means as long as you can see the drone with your eyes, you're allowed to fly uh, the drone. But still, uh, if you're, uh, there is other drone that can uh, cut you and uh, you might cause a crash or there is... That's still an issue that you face, right? Yeah, this is the issue we face. But uh, now, in the next few months, they would, uh, the FAA will also allow a flight behind line of sight. Uh, Amazon, for example, uh, as we all know, planning to do a delivery of packages for around 20 kilometers with a drone. So it, does, it means wow. that no one will see the drone. It uh, sh should be fully autonomously. So when uh, it's uh, fully autonomously, uh, there is a must need for a kind of uh, a Radar solution to, be, right, of, of course. To, to protect it. So, you know, let's talk a little bit about Israel's role in developing, uh, you know, the drone market. We see a lot of advanced technologies related to drones that are coming out of Israel. Why is that? I think uh, the Israeli army, or especially the Israeli Air Force, uh, is one of the first air forces in the world to start this business of unmanned aerial vehicles. So, uh, in Israel, there is uh, the, the big brother of the drone, which is uh, the unmanned aerial vehicle, uh, is, uh, exists for almost 40 years from now. Uh, those uh, th those uh, planes were used in the uh, uh, Lebanon uh, war, and uh, in the last uh, 20 year years uh, they are uh, with us. Uh, so there is a lot of know-how and a lot of new technologies that emerge from uh, the Israeli defense industries uh, that went into the civilian market. I think it's like a bit like the cyber security so that Israel is strong with because of uh, the Israeli intelligence and uh, the Israeli army. Uh, so this is a, a really domain that is strong in Israel. There is today, I think, around 100 companies around drones here in uh, Israel. All of them started in the last two, three years. And, uh, that should be my next venture. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Well, thank you so much for coming in. This is very, very interesting. And uh, I'll see if I, one day myself, will get my hands on a drone to try it out. Thank you.